Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So recently I subscribed to CNBC Pro and I've been using it for about one week now and I just wanted to share my thoughts and I wanted to give you an overview of what you can expect with CNBC Pro and whether if it's uh, worth the $30 a month, it is pretty expensive and I just want to make sure that you guys are comfortable spending that amount to the value you get with the service. So in my past week, I have experienced a lot in CNBC Pro and I have to say some things have pretty much disappointed me and some things I really liked and that's more with the after hours trading benefits that you can get with CNBC Pro. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, make sure to give me a huge thumbs up um, for the video and let's get started guys. So this is the front page of CNBC Pro. It's pretty much the same as your normal CNBC. It just has the Pro logo over here. One of the benefits you get with CNBC Pro is obviously the live streams that are available. So to go to your live streams, you click on the Pro button and you click on Pro Live. And uh, I live in Europe, so if I want to watch Jim Cramer's Bad Money, that would come at 12 p.m. for me and that already passed. So this is a bit uh, of CNBC Pro. So one thing I don't like is the amount of ads that come here on CNBC Pro. Like two minutes ago, there is a video, but the amount of ads that come on CNBC Pro is insane. There's about an ad every single two to three minutes, and it kind of gets annoying, but I guess they're making more money off it. So the next thing I wanted to discuss was the news part and um, if it's quite beneficial or not, the Pro News. Sometimes it is, sometimes it's not. But the only benefit I see is if you're quite into the stock market and you're really willing to read all these articles. I mean, they do provide a lot of help. And let's say this guy's pro article, um, it says this is for pro users and he basically sees which stocks might do good um, in 2021. Uh, I don't know why it hasn't loaded. Oh, okay. Yes. So... This gives a bunch of stocks and you got you have to read all of this. It's not even that long of an article. And if I wanted to watch live um, news, then you have some of these videos over here uh, that it comes only for pro. But a lot of these videos become available for people and they come on YouTube as well. So it's not like you're getting anything that exclusive. The only, only benefit I actually see with CNBC Pro is when you're watching like let's say Jim Cramer live or an interview happening live in CNBC with one of the CEOs of a company or something and they give out some bullish statement or they say their favorite stock pick or something then you have a chance to trade it in extended hours or if the market is open you can have these opportunities to trade so right now there's not much happening right now uh, you can see that like 52 minutes ago, there was um, Jim Cramer on the show. Like the amount of ads, it's not that great. Um, it's quite annoying actually to see these ads. But let's say we wanted to see Jim Cramer who came live 53 minutes ago. Like the ads are pretty long. They're not short. They're not like 30 second ads. They're more like two minute ads. So it all adds up. Wow. So that was the ending of him. So you can see here that Jim Cramer interviewed this t uh, Twilo CEO and actually um, one hour ago uh, there was an interview with um, a stock. I forgot the name of the stock. I think it was, um, oh, come on, Magnite, 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 Magnite. And it went up 4% of the day, but the interview with this lady who recommended Fubo TV? She said that this is her number one pick of the year, and simply jumped like twenty percent. Has consolidated a bit, but it went up twenty percent, which is pretty damn amazing, just with one interview. So if you're doing after hours trading, you have a great opportunity. And now tomorrow, I bet everyone wants to get in the stock because it's like the next Fubo TV and the next 10x stock, basically. So that's one of the benefits. So if you have Webull or your trading platform allows extended hours trading, I would definitely recommend 
probably getting out getting CNBC Pro. Is it worth 30 euros? Well, it depends on that. If you have extended hours, I'd probably recommend it. But I'm, to be honest, pretty disappointed with CNBC Pro. Other than watching Jim Cramer live, I don't think it's the value for money. Like, Motley Fool articles are pretty good, and they're free, and they're pretty much the same as these. Uh, the only thing is that these people are interviewing big CEOs and big people like Chamath and um, Scott Gottlieb um, for like the Moderna vaccine and the Pfizer vaccine news. So you get your news like a bit more early, but I definitely don't think it's that beneficial. Uh, definitely not thirty dollars a month. I mean. It depends if you're the if you if you're like a super rich guy, sure you can buy this, but I I doubt that it's a good investment for the normal folks uh, to buy this for thirty dollars. I mean, a Netflix subscription costs ten dollars a month, so you could get a Netflix subscription, a Roku subscription, so many different subscriptions, guys, just to sacrifice for a CNB subscription. So I'm pretty much disappointed with CNB Super Pro. I don't really recommend you guys getting it. I mean, if you're some rich millionaires, um, go ahead, sure. But uh, for the average folk, I don't think it's good. And um, I'm probably going to stop my subscription by the end of this month. Uh, and yeah, I'm pretty disappointed, actually. So that will be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the CNBC Pro review. If you guys have any other questions, let me know down below in the comment section below and like this video. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and I'll, I'll see you guys next time.